Hey, what's up, world? Welcome back to Rolling Out in Hollywood. It's Michael Melendi. As you can see, I'm here in sunny Southern California. Today, we're sitting down with the cast of WGN's Underground. We're talking all about season two and how it deals with politics, which is actually pretty perfect given the current state of politics in the United States at this time. So stay tuned because it's all coming up next right here on Rolling Out in Hollywood. There are some little girls right yeah. now who embody the spirit and the courage and power of Harriet Tubman. And what a time do we need that kind of, yeah. of, of hero to, to, to emerge once again. Well, so first of all, two congratulations are, are in store here. So congratulations on season two. Thank you. Congratulations on your newborn. Oh, thank yeah, it's, you. It's very exciting to see uh, on Instagram and stuff. Pictures and stuff. <laughs> but uh, so when it comes to, you know, the opportunity that you guys have, you know, to portray these characters, you're almost breathing life in a sense back into these huge historical figures. Uh, what have been some things that you have learned about their, you know, personalities and attributes uh, that you were most surprised to find out about them? Uh, the fact that they were uh, just really whole human beings, you know, we were always given this perspective of the um, enslaved people as being things, being, you know, basically being cattle or something. Yeah. But, you know, they, they found ways to have fun, to have little dances, to parties, mm -hmm. to do this, and all that strength and perseverance that came out of them. It's what shaped us now as a culture today, but it was fun to see how they made something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, fun to sort of engage that and experience it because it gives you so much appreciation for the opportunities you do have today. Mm -hmm. For sure. Your know, journey is, as, as actors and, you know, are, are people who are creators in a sense, you guys have a responsibility to not necessarily follow the culture, but, but lead people to places, kind of reflect culture and lead people to places where it's not always so comfortable. Uh, mm -hmm. Season two definitely leaves you emotionally feeling some type of way. I mean, how mm -hmm. would you describe the places uh, that the audiences will go in season two? You know, I think we definitely explore uncomfortable territory in season two. Um, I think we really challenge our audiences and ourselves to get outside of our comfort zones. Um, you know, one of the themes in season two is citizen versus soldier. Mm -hmm. And we challenge, you know, our characters as well as the audience to ask themselves, you know, are you a citizen or are you a soldier? Where do you sit on the battlefield? Are you a bystander while everyone else is um, fighting the good fight? Or are you gonna become a soldier and rise up? Yeah. And so, um, you know, that spirit of resistance is definitely something that we're all challenged to pick up. There's a lot of resilience that has been, you know, over the years, it's got you to the place where we are today. We're seeing a lot of more, a lot more diversity yeah. uh, on, on screen. So just recently, you know, the Academy nominated uh, 18 African Americans. When you heard that, what does that mean for you as, as, as actors and, and for your future? You know, I mean, I think, um, the proof is in the work. Yeah. You know, the work was outstanding. How can they not? It can't be ignored. Um, so we will not be ignored, you mm -hmm. know, is my mission. Um, I think we just have to continue to do great work sure. um, because great work can't be silenced. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, the show Underground is as much about our, our history as it is our present in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. There was a character who was called the House Negro in, in in this series. Um, mm -hmm. Recently, uh, Steve Harvey was called, you know, every name in the book for going and meeting with Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are your thoughts, given the psychology of your understanding of the psychology of the House Negro? Was he betraying the African American community by going to meet with the President of the United States in order to, to better our inner cities? Like, what are your thoughts about that? You know, I don't know enough mm -hmm. about that situation. Um, mm -hmm to speak on it, but for me, you know, we're definitely still dealing with the residue of the house Negro versus the, the field Negro, um, the field hand. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, I don't want to work in the house and I don't want to work in the field. I want to <laughs> burn the bitch down, okay? <laughs> so um, I just think we obviously need so much healing yeah. um, if we are still referencing that. Yeah, we as a culture need to understand why we would even say a term like that, and it's um, uh, internal deconstruction. You know, that's something we should need, not even want to say, mm. because you have to understand the history of where it came from and why it came from, which was established from people working in the field, people working in the house, battling each other. That was a mental game that was established by by the slave masters. So, again, that's something we should do away with. 
Yeah, because it's like you can't you can't use the master's tools, man. you know, to get rid of the master's house. Like it's the same way. It's all supposed to be we, dissolved. You know, it's the same way it's been ingrained in us to, as a culture, be proud of the term nigger or nigga. Mm -hmm. Nothing to be proud of there. So understand how you use it, why you use it, but to do that, you gotta understand the history and realize if you're calling somebody else, oh, you're a house Negro just because you do this, what are you? You need to look at yourself first for even being able to utter that term and call another black person that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, really before you wanna cast judgment. Thank you for saying that, and uh, we think that I think that uh, you know America has a lot to learn from this show. So I look forward yeah. to, to the reactions from season two. So thank you guys for your work. Oh, thank, thank you, man. It's a system, you know, and so we're still very much in pursuit of freedom because the, the what we're trying to do is break down a system that could even ever threaten that anybody. I mean, even even going through it with you know how many how many miles that, that she yeah. would go back into yeah. danger. I mean, when you take that off out of a history book and actually put that and yeah. you act that out, you yeah. just really impacted.